Steve, what stood out for you? Well, he's in the building behind me here at the Legislative Council, so uh, we have been getting the bits and pieces, and he's sticking to form, except that, you know, well, it's not too much too surprising. He started the speech with a lot of references uh, to security and national security. Uh, he is the former security chief. Uh, then he became chief secretary and then, of course, chief executive on July 1st. This is his first policy address. He had three early references to restoring order from chaos in reference, of course, to the times of of, uh, street protests in 2019 and 2020 uh, that uh, essentially ended with the national security law in the summer of 2020. Safeguarding national sovereignty is the top priority under one country, two systems, uh, said John Lee. But then he got into some of the financial uh, uh, incentives uh, that we've been talking about all morning uh, to stem the brain drain from Hong Kong and to attract talent to Hong Kong. Uh, there will be a refund of the stamp duty uh, the 15% stamp duty uh, that uh, Hong Kong charges outsiders, mainly foreigners and mainland Chinese, when they buy a house here, if they stay for seven years, which would qualify them for permanent residency, then they can get a full refund on that stamp duty. That to attract people to stay here long term, as well as give a shot in the arm to the battered property market, which is showing signs of some weakness of late. Also, top talent visa schemes for high earners and top graduates. Those will last for two years to get people to come here. And they will also have this investment fund. This Hong Kong Investment Corporation will consolidate government funds and other uh, programs uh, to attract and to keep talent.